So Chris gave you a quick tour of his printers and I'm going to do the same. Now I don't have the same collection as Chris does, but I've got one thing he does it, and that's a Delta. So here's my Delta. It's a Costal Mini. I put this thing together myself uh, after I printed off uh, the parts at a, a maker space in Calgary, Proto Space. And this has been my workhorse for like the longest time. In fact, it's been about four or five years. It just keeps going. The heated bed is new. Um, before I was actually using just a sheet of MD, uh, quarter inch MDF. And that was more than enough to have everything work properly. It's uh, dimensionally stable. Um, the one thing I have an issue with this one is, is that um, if you don't have it tuned up and the measurements perfect from this point to this point and then the the triangulation and everything it doesn't print out exactly to size so you have to spend an awful lot of time on calibrating and taking the measurements and adjusting the firmware to make that work so that being said is is that this doesn't print off the exact size most of the time that I want so I use it for more the artistic and kind of the uh, dimensionally uh, flexible parts now, since then, I've gotten a uh, KSI-3 from spool.ca, and um, this thing is actually really good. It's very dependable, works very well, um, and the support that I got from Spool3D um, was, was pretty awesome, or Spool3D, Spool... Anyway, the link will be down in the notes, um, but Spool's great. Uh, that all being said, this thing is a little workhorse. It is dimensionally, it has everything perfect. So for me, building some stuff for the film industry, which I do on a regular basis, it needs to be perfect. And this happens to do exactly what I need it to. So for the cost, you really can't lose. Um, any presses, Prusa clones, they really seem to be kind of where, where it's at. Now, the Delta, again, I love it. It's great. Uh, it's a little quicker than the, the Prusa, but again, it, it's only really for to the artistic side of things. Anyways, that's a tour of my 3D printers. How about you guys give us a quick rundown of your 3D printers and do a little video, post it up. Let's see what you got.